Now we have my room, the master bedroom. We got my bed. Yeah. The fuck are you doing? Next room. to be moving in like buying my own house at such a young age I'm so thankful so let's get in so this is all my dogs I just got two new dogs for the house like to keep me like homey and stuff like got some paintings that's what I love most pretty much it's another one over there and then of course I have my own like raw gear pop-up shop. You, that's what you gotta do when you're a raw gear athlete. So we got that. Kitchen, nice big kitchen all to myself. For some reason they sent me um, two plaques. Like one's for a million subscribers and one is for 100,000. I don't know, I guess they just like mixed it up a little bit. I'm only at 40K, but. I guess they already know, they yeah. already know. No, they already know like what's gonna happen in the future. Oh. So. Makes sense, makes sense. Oh, and my fireplace. To keep toasty at night. The big screen all to myself. And my favorite part, got a nice pool. You know I like to tan. It's my favorite thing to do. A little hot tub action. Isn't it beautiful, guys? It's the last day by the pool. Oh, the grill. Oh, falling. This is where I like to grill up some steaks if I ever have like any company over. So, kind of a chef. And then we're gonna go to the master bedroom. Okay, now we have my room. The master bedroom. We got my bed. Yeah. The fuck are you doing? Next room. What are you, what are you guys doing? Sorry, Brad. It's my room. Sorry. I don't I don't know what that was about, but he didn't see us. He didn't see us. Okay. And now, okay, for real guys, this is my actual room. We don't got a bed yet, but my mattress is coming pretty soon. It's a little, it's a little messy. I'm still getting situated. I just got here yesterday, so don't judge me. Oh, the bathroom. Oh, the bathroom. got a bathroom of her own. Yes. A shower, the toilet. You got all that. Nah, but for real guys, I, I fuck. I can't speak. No, but for real guys, as you can see, I just moved into the raw gear house. I've always wanted to move to LA. It's like my biggest dream and I'm just gonna be able to grow more here. Like when I was back in Jersey, I felt so stuck. Like I never had any ideas because out here, like it's good to be surrounded by a bunch of creators because everyone always, you know, I, ca I can't speak. It's okay. I'm terrible at speaking sometimes, but it helps to be surrounded by other creators. Specifically for this reason, because it helps you be more fucking creative. Like, I'll be yeah. straight up, like, Isaiah moved into the house, right? And Isaiah, although some people might talk shit and be like, yo, fuck that Sarm Goblin and all this, whatever. He's actually a really hard worker. Yeah, and he has inspired working. me yeah. to work harder, to try to be more creative. And yeah, it's, just, it's beneficial to have that around. Yeah, So Definitely. Just like, just right, you know, right now in this fucking video, it's beneficial. Yeah. So having more people that are more motivated doing things mm -hmm. that are along the lines of the stuff that you're trying to do yeah. and become better at, it's helpful. Because when I'm at home, like, no one's doing the same thing. So it was always really hard. So like, I'm always like, what video am I going to film? I didn't have the best ideas, basically. But here, I feel like I always got something to do. There's so much to do here. And yeah, I'm just trying to grow my platform make a name for myself and I feel like this is the best place to do it and I'm so grateful okay so I already know what a bunch of you guys are gonna say since I'm moving in this house with a bunch of other athletes but I'm gonna get hate either way like this is what I got this is what I want to do to like push myself and grow and oh to grow as a person and like grow even like you know my social medias and stuff and like even if I stayed at home I would still probably get hate because you can't please everyone and that's just how life works. Like I said in my last video, the biggest thing I learned from being on social media is that like you're gonna get hate no matter what you do. Why people think I'm out here is like not actually like why I'm out here. Why do they think you're out here? Probably like sleep with a bunch of guys and like do OnlyFans and stuff. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's literally what they think. Oh my god. It's bad. It's so funny. It's like, yeah, I moved out to LA to like sleep with guys. It's so stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's dumb. It's honestly a joke. Like, I, I can't wait to see those comments. I'm like, huh. Listen, I mean, it's, it's just like... like it's even, just, yeah, girls from my hometown say that shit. I'm like... Oh, yeah, I mean, this just comes out of like jealousy and just judgment. Yeah, right? I'm it's like, just are you okay? like, you're, you're just doing what was good. I can't wait for them to see me succeed, though. Yeah, fuck them. Yeah. Because truthfully, the, the sad part is, a lot of times people make judgments like that because it's something they wish that they either could be doing or they, they maybe they wish they were more willing to put themselves in a situation that they're creating exposure for themselves where it could be scary and people could attack you. Yeah. And you're doing that. And you're willing yeah. to do that by going on the fucking camera. No, I literally know those girls would like die to be in my position and that's why they talk shit. Fuck those bitches. Mm -hmm. That's mean. That was kind of mean. <laughs> no, but it's like so Is true. that okay? Are we yeah. alive? Let's go! Fuck them. Fuck them bitches who talk shit about me. Yeah. She said it, not me. Yeah. <laughs> but that's normal. People always talk shit. It is what it is. Yeah. I'm telling you, even if you do everything right, they still talk shit. Mm -hmm. It's a fact. Doing something to better yourself and help better the people around you, you're never going wrong. Exactly. And that's why I'm here. Meet a few of my roommates. Here we Roomies, go. Baby. We got Chris and Isaiah. Hard at work, right? This is what I'm saying. This is what this house is all about. <laughs> Content making. Hell yeah. We just filmed uh, we just filmed Noel Kill two of my TikToks today. Um I actually Content. Tag in person. And what a bitch. Like, I that, you can't forget. As soon as I posted it, like five months later, I was like, fuck, I should have tagged you. <laughs> not only because I wanted her to be tagged, but also it would have been better for me too. <laughs> and then we have this random guy, no one knows how he is. Yeah, what's your name? Uh, yeah, Jacob. what's your name? What's up, guys? Jacob. Nice to meet you. Fucked up. Good. Now, this is, that's, uh, Brad, that's Brad's guy. Yeah. My guy's better. No one knows me, I'm just behind the camera, you know? Yeah. I don't understand. Really the it. guy behind the camera. My guy's better. No, I'm just joking. Except he doesn't look official right now. At least he has the headgear and shit. He looks, he looks more well, like he's I'm importing right now. Nah, I look more official though. I got the headphones. Yeah, and he yeah he's hard at he's, he's hard at work. Back on the table. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. We should actually Loki drink it at Chris. <laughs> Yeah, he's I, like, all right. I hate you saying. That pisses me off so much. Wait, but like from the side, guys, you see that bicep vein? No, actually, actually, yeah. that's a. Woo! Killing it. Woo! Yeah, Andy went to the gym yesterday after the flight and everything. Yeah. I was surprised. I was no, I was surprised myself that I was actually okay. I'm gonna go. That's good. That's how. That's how I'm doing. Like I have to. Yeah. No, I'm glad I did because I like skipped two days and I was feeling like. Yeah. With Isaiah. He. I'm her personal yeah, chauffeur right now, guys. He is because I don't have a car. She's carless. He's carless. She, she flew all the way to LA with no car. Oh, I mean, I guess that makes sense. She flew yeah. with no car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where are we at? Amazon Fresh. Amazon Low Fresh. Food. Better. It's like Whole Foods, but a cheaper version. Yeah, I've never been here before. Yeah. We're used to ShopRite. Yeah, ShopRite, Top and Shop. Wait, so I guess they have a bunch of ShopRites in New Jersey, right? Um, yeah. yeah. Ton. ShopRite's the shit, but over here it's like Ralph's. You've seen a lot of Ralph's out here, right? No. Yeah, well, but that's another It's the story. Ralph's, yeah. It's like, it's like our ShopRite in Jersey. Mm -hmm. What are you about to pick up? Do you know what you're going to get? No. Yeah. Apparently, she's not a big cook. I'm not, which I hate about myself. Really? Oh, see, I'm, I'm a, but you're in a house where I love cooking, so it'll be all good. Hey. I, would, I would cook for the house. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got so far in the in the bag? In the no, we got some cold cuts, some turkey, some ham, some peanut butter, yeah. yogurt. The funny thing is, she only has snacks in her cart. Talking as Yeah, she only yeah. scroll down. Okay. She yeah. Um, we got you know some granola bars, some rice cakes. Um, on the you can tell she's not a big cook. She only has she only has literally picked up snacks. Like I'll, I'll make like eggs, string cheese. I'll, I'll, make, I'll make quesadillas, but I have to stop making quesadillas because cheese is not good for my skin. No, oh, it makes you break out. Yeah, I find dairy makes me break out too. Yeah, yeah. so like, I have to stop with that. That's actually one thing I like cut out. But I love people like want cheese for my sandwiches. Cheese so. is fire. I love cheese and coconut. I can literally eat it by itself. Like a little what is it? Charcuterie? Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Charcuterie boards. Where is it? Cheese, 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 cheese. Over here. Oh, we were looking right at it. Over here. What's your go-to cheese? Well, probably American. Really? I like pepper jack. Or Swiss. Swiss is uh, Swiss, okay. There you go. Perfect. So we're, um... Back at the house. Back at the house. I'm having some stuff away. My favorite. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm in the backyard right now. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed my house tour. But like I said, I know the feedback I'm gonna get, but if all you were in my position, you'd be doing the same thing too. I'm out here to grow mentally and to like grow my social media platforms. And I'm so excited to see what's in store for me because I just know I'm gonna grow so much while I'm out here. There's so much opportunity. This is just the place to be. But yeah, I'm so excited for what's to come. Insane content coming. I'm gonna be posting more because I'm gonna be a lot more motivated since I'm out here in LA. There's always so much to do and so much to film and everyone's like working around you so it's so motivating. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Yeah, peace.